Hey guys, welcome to Subscribers Draw My Nails Part 2. So today I am going to be doing nails that you guys designed. I am so glad that you guys liked the first video. So we are going to be making this a series. If you don't know, this is where I give you guys a picture such as this of my hand and then you guys draw a design on it and I will pick a couple people and make it come to life. So I did that on Instagram the other day. If you do want to participate in future subscribers draw my nails videos, do follow my Instagram because that's where I post these pictures and stuff like that. Before we get into the video, I wanted to give a couple shout outs to some designs that I am not doing but I absolutely loved. Thank you guys all that submitted designs. There were so many good ones. I tried my best to look through each and every one and you guys are so talented, so creative. I wish I had a million hands to do them all, but I do not. So I'll only be doing two today, but I did want to give a couple shout outs to some ones that I did love. This one by Michael Bai. I absolutely love this Hello Kitty design. Absolutely loved it. I would have done it if I had Hello Kitty stickers because I am so not talented enough to draw Hello Kitties by hand, but I so would have done this if I had Hello Kitty stickers on hand. I will be getting some in the future and I may do this one in the future. This next one by Sherry's Nails. I absolutely loved this one as well. So cute and I love that you incorporated stuff from my kit, like the big candy looking decals. Absolutely loved it. And then this one from ASMR JX. I really loved this one as well. I love the gold. This one from Punny Honey. I thought this was a really good idea, but I didn't know how to execute it. I don't think I would be able to do that. Maybe in the future after I think on it for a little bit, but right now I don't think I could make that come to life, but it's a really good idea. This one from Your Girl A, super cute, really cohesive design. I really, really loved it. It's a really good winter design. And then this one from Little Lamb, I absolutely love this, but this was just a little bit too much out of my wheelhouse. Again, I would need some stickers. In the future, I will most definitely ask you guys for these designs and then have a little bit more time in between when I'm asking for them and then filming them so I can get supplies for them, opposed to just using what I have. If you do create any of these designs that you've seen here, make sure to credit the original artist or creator of these designs because these are, again, not my designs. These are from you guys. As you've seen, their apps have been on the screen as well as I will leave them in the description down below. Again, thank you guys so much. This is such a fun thing to do. And let's get into the video. Okay, so first we need to take off these nails. A lot of you wanted to know how to take them off, so I'm gonna show you. If you want to skip this part, skip to right here. So the first step is to grab your nail and rhinestone graveyard, and you're going to want to clip off any length. Don't use a good pair of cuticle clippers for this because it will dull them. You can see mine are all warped because I clip off my length with them, but I just use these. Ooh. And be careful for flying nails. All right, and then you're also going to want to clip off your rhinestones as well. You don't really want to drill through them because you don't want to breathe in that dust. Okay, so now you can see I have most of the length done. So you don't absolutely have to have an electric file for this, but it does make it easier. Next, you want to just file through the poly gel. And in my case, I'm only gonna file down to the base coat because I keep a base coat on to protect my nails while I do so many different sets. So once you get down to the base coat, then you can soak that off with acetone. I'm gonna be using this bit. I like safety bits like this that are smooth at the top in case you touch any of your skin, you won't cut it up. I'm also gonna be using this dust collector from McCart. If you're gonna really do nails at some point, I would definitely recommend investing in one because it will just make your whole nail experience a lot more pleasant. So I'm gonna turn this on and play you guys some music. This is loud.
Okay, and then as you can see, the base layer is still on. So I'm just going to clean these up a bit and then let's get started on the new sets. Okay, so let's get started. So the first one that I chose was from Real Amy and this one is beautiful. I absolutely love how it's a Christmas theme, but it's still pastel and colorful. So this is what I'm going to attempt. She has a whole rhinestone Christmas tree, a whole rhinestone snowman, rhinestone snowflakes, a reindeer. So this one's going to be really hard, but I think it will pay off. Hopefully I can do it. So let's get started. So because she did do a pink, purple, blue, I am going to be using a lot of poly gels from my kit, which is currently sold out right now, but Amazon will be getting some this week if you're watching the week. Okay, actually it's on Amazon right now. So the link will be in my description. But first we must put tips on. So I am going to cut these down a little bit to make them coffins. So I'm just gonna take my glue from a cart and put these tips on. All right, here we go. So next I'm gonna take these to a coffin instead of a stiletto shape. And yep, I'm just gonna do that with some plain old scissors. There we go. Then I'm just going to buff out the top layer so that our base coat can stick and everything and mesh the tip and my nail together a little bit better. All right, now that that's done, I am going to put on my base coat. I'm gonna do this one at a time because otherwise everything will get a little sticky. So I'm gonna just do the base coat on my thumb. And this is so that our poly gel will stick to it. All right, and then we're gonna take my marshmallow shade for our thumb. And I'm just going to squeeze this on here in about the shape that I want, like that. And then I should probably get some rubbing alcohol. This dish is dirty, I should clean it. And then I'm just going to shape this in the way that I want. I absolutely love your guys' designs and you guys have the best ideas. So I'm so glad that you guys wanted me to make this a series because we all know that, you know, I can do some designs, but I'm not a super creative person and I always get flustered and then that's when my nails don't turn out good. But when I have a solid plan to go off of, I feel like they turn out so much better. Okay, so I have this nail all done, so I'm going to cure this now. Okay, and there is our nail. So next is purple. Okay, so next we're gonna take my grape floss shade, like so. Okay, purple nail is all done. Here. Okay, so for the reindeer nail, it's a white with a pink slash hollow ombre. So I'm gonna go in with this pearlescent white from, I think it's the Eberrouge kit from McCart. And this white is just like a pearly white. So we'll start off with this. I'm not really super good at ombre poly gel, but I'll try. Hopefully it's a little easier since it's just like a white and a pink. Okay, so how I'm gonna ombre is, I'm just gonna try to just pull this down a little bit, like so. You can sort of see on the side profile, like where the ombre will go in, cause it goes Yeah, I'm gonna cure it. Next, I'm gonna take my bubblegum pink shade and just put a little bit of this at the tip to fill in that gap, like that. Okay, you know what, it's not the best ombre, but it's an ombre for sure. It's so uneven. Like what is, why is it not going down this side? Let's try to pull it. There we go. This is a little better. That'll look better once I file it. So here. And then a full nail of my bubblegum pink color. Isn't this just like the perfect pink? I mean, I know you guys are like, we get it. It's your kit. <laughs> I would be too. 
but I'm just still really excited about it. Okay, and then for this last one, I know it says golden. I'm trying to think if I have any like gold poly gels and I don't think I do. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make a little bit of a lighter version of this yellow. This yellow from this Eberouge kit is already sort of lighter. It's not a neon and it is pearlescent. So I feel like it will go, but I just wanna make it a little bit lighter. I don't really mix poly gel all that often but I felt like this would be a good time to do so. There we go. See this, I feel like it'll match because even though it's not gonna be like golden, it's still gonna go with the more pastel-y theme. That might be a little too much. Am I just making a mess right here? I absolutely am. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like the perfect color. Okay, so that's all shaped up. Now I'm gonna cure it. I apologize if you guys can hear a bunch of noise. My neighbors are moving and I don't know what they're doing, but it's loud. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe everything with some rubbing alcohol or a slip solution because it is going to be a little bit sticky and we wanna get that off. I actually think that this light yellow actually does look a little bit like a really yellow gold. So I think that's turning out well. So next let's file these into shape. I don't know if I'll need to do too much filing with an e-file because I surprisingly actually shaped them out pretty well in the first place, but let's get started. Okay, so I don't know if you guys ever have this problem. If you have a file, right, and it's sharp, like you're going like this and it's cutting into you, what you need to do is take another file and prepare for the worst noise in the world. and file those sides down and it won't be sharp anymore. Okay, so now we're on to decorating. We have a lot to do, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm first going to start by top coating my pointer and my middle finger. That way we can put the hollow tip on. So I'm just going to cure that. And then I'm going to take the hollow powder from my kit and then I'm just going to ombre it down so I'm gonna mainly give the most pigment at the end and then I'm just going to lightly buff it downwards and then doing it really lightly towards the middle. And there we have a hollow tip. And we're gonna do the same for the middle finger. All right, and then we're just going to do the hollow tip on this one as well. Look how pretty that is. So on this nail, she said rhinestone snowflakes. However, I don't think that I can make snowflakes out of rhinestones. <laughs> I think that my nail is like too small. So I'm going to use these decals and then I'm just going to put a little rhinestone in the middle of each one. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to place these on here and looks like they're sticking pretty good. There we go for that one. Next, let's just get it right out of the way. Let's tackle the reindeer drawing. So I have two different colors for it. I'm gonna see which one I think matches better. I think this one matches pretty well, but let's open this one anyway. Yeah, definitely the other one. Maybe, you know what, maybe I'll mix them a little bit because this seems like a really, really light, but she did put a light color for the reindeer, but I think it just needs to be a tiny bit browner. So we'll do that. There we go, I think that's perfect. All right, let's just get it over with. Let's see if I can do this. Excuse if you see my phone here, I, I gotta like look at it. And then the head. 
Okay, so here's our base. I actually think it looks pretty similar. Maybe just a little bit like that. I'm gonna cure this. That way I don't mess that up. And then we'll do the antlers, which I think are gonna be a lot harder. So now let's try the antlers. Okay, you know what? That's actually not too bad. <laughs> okay, and now the eyes. We just need like just a tiny bit of black. And those are too big, aren't they? Yep, I don't know when to stop. Okay, try this again. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, and then let's just do the nose. We have a cute little pink nose here. Ugh, I think mine's too light. Okay, hear me out. I think this might work because it's jelly. I know it looks like really, really bright here, but I think it might work. Perfect. I don't know how I completely missed that there are snowflakes on this finger as well. Okay, there we got snowflakes on that one as well. She didn't specify a color, so I'm gonna go with this color rhinestones because I have these itty bitty ones right here. And I'm gonna top coat both the purple and the yellow nail and also put on the rhinestones on those ones because those ones are simple and we're just gonna put like a little one in the center of each snowflake. And then again, just a tiny little itty bitty rhinestone in the center of each one. Those. For the Christmas tree and the snowman, I actually have these beads from Shein. So I am going to use these instead of rhinestones just because I feel like, I don't know, it's so hard. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to even create that with rhinestones. I think I want to try at least for the Christmas tree to try it with these beads first. So I'm going to just dump a bunch of those out. Nice. I just feel like these silver ones in here would be like perfect for that sort of reason. So let's actually start with the star on top and I'm gonna use a star from my kit because I just think like, I don't know, it's a perfect star. So let's pull that out. I'm gonna grab some gel and I'm gonna put that all over this nail. It's gonna be a little bit thicker than the top coat. And then I am going to put that top coat on top so we'll start with the star and then I, okay. I'm gonna try to just grab these like itty bitty beads and try to start forming something. Are we getting somewhere? <laughs> okay, this is way harder than I thought. Like, wow. Okay, I'm wiping her off. At this point, you know what? Let's see if we can do the rhinestones because those beads are something else. More rhinestone gel. Okay, this is going a little bit better, I think. Is it a Christmas tree? Is it just a crisscross design? I don't, I don't know. Oh, it's an imposter one. Do you see that? No different color reflection. Let's get you out of there. Okay, it's not that bad, okay? <laughs> Who am I trying to convince that? Me or you? I don't know. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stump. It's cause like, I feel like trees have stumps. Might make it look more tree-like like that. Okay, I'm gonna put that big rhinestone back on the top cause it still needs the giant star. Okay, you know what? It's kinda there. We kinda got it. I'm just gonna cure this because this is as good as it's gonna get. She kind of has ornaments on this tree. So I wonder if maybe then I could take a couple of these little beads and put them on like that. I'm just gonna maybe put like a tiny bit of top coat in here. 
and then grab some of these. Okay, you know what? I like that. Definitely more tree-like. And then on our final big task for this, a rhinestone snowman. Okay, so this one should be a little bit easier to do with the rhinestones, I think anyway. So we're just gonna start at the bottom here and do kind of a big circle. Ooh, that rhinestone gel is doing something weird with the top coat. Okay, so here's as good as we wanna get if we wanna put a hat on him. I don't think I can do like a three tier body and a hat. So I think I'm gonna call it here. Let's use these little thingies as his face and buttons. I'm gonna put his eyes as black. Oh, and the buttons. Oh, look, he's cute. We'll also do the rhinestone hat. Okay, I think we have room for the hat. I wanted to make sure. Okay, let's cure him. Wipe all this gel off me. Wow. I'm a mess. Okay, and our last task is to top coat this reindeer. She didn't say matte or anything, so I'm going to assume that it's supposed to be shiny. Okay, let me cure that one last time. Okay, so now we're done with this hand. Now let's do this hand. I know that I built all of the nails on this hand, but this hand I'm going to, not cheat, but I'm going to use full cover tips. Otherwise we will be here literally all day. Okay, so get everything else out of the way. So I'm gonna use these one, two, three go tips from Enail Couture. These ones are already like pink and white ombre. And the design that I'm gonna do is kind of like a French tip moment. So I figured that this would be a good base because it's red and white. So first I'm just going to size my nails. Okay, so I have my nails. So instead of etching the insides of these, I'm going to do it with this tip primer from a prey. I much prefer doing it like this. I feel like it saves so much time. And then I do already have a base on my nails, so I'm not going to put a, another base on there. I can just stick these right on top. So I'm just going to do this with the E-Nail Couture 1, 2, 3, Go Press-On Gel. I think I might actually prefer it over the Apre Extend Gel just a little bit. And I'm just going to quickly pop all of these on. Do you guys see this? I don't know how, I think, you know, no, I think I do know how. I keep cutting up my hands and scraping them. I think it's because of my new dog and I'm playing fetch with him like all day, every day. And I think that's what's doing it. But like, I just, my hands are so like scuffed up. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, and here we go. All right, so now I'm just going to file the ends of these. And now we can get on into the decorating portion. So we are going to do this design by Anna Naya? A Naya? I'm sorry if I cannot get that correct, but I absolutely love this because it's like almost like a classic French tip, but definitely not with the red and the peppermints. I don't have everything to do this exactly like this is shown, but I'm gonna get pretty close. So let's get into this. So I'm gonna start by buffing out all these nails so that the gel will stick. So for the red, I'm actually going to use this red from Candy Coat. It's not quite as dark as the picture shown, but it's glittery and I think it will look nice. So what I'm gonna do is just start off by painting the bottom like so and put a little glob of it on there and then grab my dotting tool and see if I can put this into the shape that I want. Thank you. 
kind of like that. And then I'll clean it up where needed. Okay, like that, and then I'll cure it. And here we have this red. I'm just going to go over and do another layer of that just so we get it looking red and not pink, kind of like how it looks. And then I'm gonna cure that one more time. And then I'm just going to do that to each nail. And that's gonna need some cleaning up. <laughs> Okay, there, got this for flare down. Now let's cure it. Okay, and then second coat is on. Okay, so now I have all of that on. Now I'm gonna go in with my white and I'm gonna use this one. And I'm hoping that this will be a little bit easier since the red is already there. And then since that red is on there, we should be able to easily clean that up. I know you guys always see my head go in like this. Hopefully that will stop because I went and actually got some glasses. So hopefully I should be able to see a little better without getting so close to this. And then my head can stop being in the frame. So we'll hope. I get my glasses in like two weeks when they come in. And hopefully that'll also help me with like some finer detail sort of stuff. I think that I need glasses because doing this has like strained my eyes a little bit. Okay, cute. Let's do a second layer. Alrighty, let's do the rest of these. All right, I think I'm gonna need to probably do these one by one. That way I do not mess this up. I think I'd probably get this white like everywhere if I tried to do them all at once. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this second coat on here and then I'm just going to go ahead and then do the rest really quickly since I'm doing the same thing over and over. You don't need to watch me do every single one. Okay, so here we go. For some reason in the back of my head, I felt like I had pieces that looked like peppermints. But what I was thinking I actually had were, where are they? There's some pieces in here that look like candy canes. So we're gonna do candy canes instead of peppermints. I feel like it's close enough. All right, first we must hope that there are five candy canes in here. <laughs> oh, there's all little Santa hats too. That's kind of cute. Oh wait, I see a candy cane. One candy cane. I feel like that's good enough, don't you? Oh wait, or there's these candy canes. This is what I was thinking of. Okay, I'll just see which ones I can find. Okay, another regular candy cane. Another candy cane. And this one's small. Oh, and another one. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna just be doing those candy canes because I can't seem to find much of the other ones. And the other ones don't really look as cute in my opinion. I didn't realize like how many Christmas ones there were in here, but there's these little gingerbread men, I think. I don't know what this is. This one looks kind of scary, to be honest. It looks all smushed. There we go, that one's a lot cuter. Also got some, ooh, little snowmen. 
I will put those back in a little. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put a top coat on my nail. I'm gonna cover it with gel as well. Cause I think it'll look better shiny. I think it would look weird if that like one little itty bitty piece was not shiny and everything else was. Okay, so let me cure this. Okay, that actually looks really cute. Okay, let's finish these up. Then a little drop of clear on top of that. and then I'm gonna put some cuticle oil on and let's go see the final result.